So IB physics. So the number one thing is understanding the basics of the theory. Now I'm going to structure this video into three parts. Learning the material, reviewing the material, and then the actual assessments. Feel free to watch this video on 2x speed. And yeah. So the first thing is learning the actual material. Now if I stress like one thing on all my videos, it's really understanding the basics. Like the groundworks is the most important thing for physics, or for IB just in general. Like you, for example, for econ it was definitions, then you'd build up further there. Here, it's understanding the basics of the theory, then you can build up to the problem solving. Yes, the problem solving is the actual goal, but to get there, you first need to understand all the basics of the theory, so then you can actually understand why something works. And I have a couple of resources that I recommend for that. For example, I would recommend, uh, firstly, is Cognity. And so, if your school has access to this, it helps so much. Like, my school had access to it, or we got access in like the second year of IB, and so my 12th grade or senior year. And I just went back, did all the topics, all the notes. Spent way too much time doing these notes, but uh, genuinely helped me so much to actually understand the theory. Because then when we were doing problems, I could be like, I could actually justify. Or I can like see, okay, well, I made this problem or I made this mistake because I thought that the theory was this instead of this rather than just guessing, you know. And so if your school doesn't have it, try to find a way that you can get it yourself, whether you're buying it yourself or maybe you have a friend from a different school that might have access to it. Try to see, you know. Um, the next thing is Revisionist Village. Most people have or know about this resource. Um, super good. One of the most popular ones, I'd say. I never actually used it myself, but I have a lot of friends that did. It's a lot of good like practice exams, especially for paper three, a lot of good data analytics or data analyses, sorry. And then they also even did like practice or like prediction exams where like after, I remember after a paper one and two for math, they made a prediction exam for paper three based on all the content that just wasn't covered. Because after all, you know, like, IB has to cover all the stuff, or in a sense, you know, like, to make it, like, uh, fair, I guess. So, like, they made practice exams. It was actually pretty accurate, and so, yeah. So, me that as it may. And then the last thing is Louis Wong, the absolute best IB physics teacher, out in my opinion, because he explains, or I, I use them the most, he was amazing. He explains all the theory in detail. Please continue Mr. making videos, Mr. Wong, you're amazing. And... Yeah, I mean, before he had like the topics, you know, the 1 through 12 that we had, but then he restructured his videos so that now it's like for your guys' options, you know, A, B, C, D, or whatever. And so yeah, so that's awesome. Thank him so much for that. Now, the next thing is actually reviewing the materials. So now, what I recommend is using Professor Varum, and now he will pretty much go in super detail. Like, he will explain to you things that you learned in college and like in university, because like, yeah, he goes in a lot of depth, but his good his videos like if you genuinely like, follow them and if you buy his like membership i didn't actually do that but if you do i'm guaranteed sure that, like that will help you so much in physics and it will boost your score by so much because i mean okay if you buy okay but then you actually have to do all the material if you do all the material i feel like you're gonna be in a much better spot because he don't he does like practice exams but he explains every single thing like every single theory and, like way above and beyond i remember there was like this um there was this like elevator example, which was completely counterintuitive, but he kind of explained it. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. And then when it was in class, you know, like, it all worked out. And I understood it like, in the class afterwards. Um, the next thing is also understanding and knowing all the vocab and all the definitions. Once again, it's like the basics. Uh, it's in the description. I included a list. It's made by somebody online. I forgot who um, off the top of my head. But also one of the basic things, right, like understanding the theory plus the definitions. Um, very good to know. And the third thing is actually the assessments. So for paper one, it's tough, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you, multiple choice. It's tough, they make it difficult for a reason. They gave us probably one of the hardest ones. Um, so note down your errors, similar to the other classes. Always note down your errors, why you made it, what you made the error in, what topic. I have literally like hundreds of pages of like just mistakes that I made and that I was then reviewing. Go to Professor Varum's YouTube channel for reviewing the solutions. And then, yeah, go really in detail, like, why did you make the mistake? What was your thought process like? Like, why did you think the theory was different than it actually was? Or why did you make a mistake, in that sense? For paper two, it's one of the hardest, in my opinion. Like, honestly, it's in so much depth in uh, theory. And, like, it's super specific. Like, sometimes you forget things. So, really, just, like, Professor Vroom has, like, um, if you have his membership, he has, like, the paper two stuff, all of it. So, would recommend to use it. I would honestly not wait um, till exams because then I thought about it, but then I was like, I'm not gonna waste money for like two weeks. So I would go through it a lot. If you, if you have the dedication, I feel like, and you watch his videos throughout, you're gonna be in an amazing spot. And then paper three, Lu Wong for data analysis. 
amazing. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna keep hyping it up because he's really good. I did the engineering option. I know you guys have it like different. You guys have it all integrated, which is looking kind of cool in my opinion. But so yeah, so check check in. I think he's gonna make new videos hopefully. If not, there's also other mainstream YouTubers. I don't really mention them. Like there's a lot of good ones, but these are the ones that literally help me the most and that I use the most. So I'm rather sharing those. Like there's other ones that I know that are like that usually go in like general detail, but then these guys are like going in depth, like literally teaching the class, like type of thing where like you would have Harvard courses online, like that type of thing, but here on for IB. And the last thing is the IA, literally a free seven if you just follow Lewis Wong's guide. Like he made a whole guide of all the things you need. And like, if you just follow it step by step and you do a topic that you actually enjoy, but also even though you can have one that you don't actually understand, like I did electromagnetism and I made a motor made it spin, whatever, um, and it helped me so much because topic 5 and 11 for us was like electromagnetism and electricity were like one of the most hardest that people just find really confusing and with all the hand rules and all this stuff like I could just understand it, I want to say like not better than anybody else but I mean like I, I better understood it for myself like just like me understanding it because I actually had like my IA to always think about like oh but how did I do this and also you're researching into it like a lot in a sense, like you're spending a lot of time with the material so you understand the theory and the actual equations a lot more. And so I'd recommend that. It's actually really fun, like my IA. Even though I had to like buy new magnets, it was a whole adventure, but yeah. I mean, overall, I really love physics. Physics was amazing, um, so much fun. I think one of the best uh, sciences, if not the best science in my opinion, because um, you actually learn stuff that is actually applicable, actually useful, and you kind of learn more about the world. And so yeah, hope you enjoyed.